Custom GPTs are redefining what's possible with ChatGPT. And I've got the official list here of the best GPTs. So in this video, I'll be going over the top 10 GPTs that are leading the charge. Plus, we'll look at some of the secrets behind their rapid growth. So for GPT enthusiasts and creators alike, this video is a must watch. So let's dive in. Now, there are many GPT lists out there. But this one is unique because it derives its rankings directly from the ChatGPT site. And the list orders the GPTs based on the number of page views that they receive. Now, this data is coming from SimilarWeb, which is a tool that's renowned for tracking website traffic. So while there are many lists out there, this one stands out for its accuracy because it's not being distorted by upvotes or other factors like that. Now, I found an even more user friendly version of this list. This is based on that more technical looking data I've showed you. So this is better probably for us to look at because we can see the descriptions and there's also a link for you to go and chat with these directly. So I'll put this in the description below so you can try it out. And let's dive in a bit deeper now and see which GPT is number one. So what's the number one custom GPT and what are some of the secrets behind its rapid growth? Well, if we take a look at the list here, we can see that at the top it's DALI, which is a GPT created by ChatGPT. And if we move for even further down, we can see all of the top 10 are actually GPTs created by ChatGPT itself. But the first number one custom GPT is Canva. And really, this is probably no surprise. The reason for its rapid growth is probably because Canva already has 150 million monthly active users. And by integrating with ChatGPT, they have a great tool for their existing customer base. So this is what it looks like if you click through and you can just ask it to create designs as if you were talking to say an actual designer in real life. Now I went ahead and did an example of this, just asking in natural language for a Black Friday 20% off poster. And I have two designs here and I can click straight through to Canva and uh, just change that however way I want. So what is interesting is that this GPT is already outranking one that was made by ChatGPT themselves. And I guess that this is no surprise. At the OpenAI Dev Day announcement, they said that we believe that the most incredible GPTs will come from builders in the community. And it seems like that prediction is already coming true with Canva up there at number 12. Now let's dive into the second best GPT on our list, which if we move down here, we can see is Grimore. And this creator is leveraging some very interesting marketing tactics on Twitter, which we'll look at in a second. But essentially what this GPT allows you to do is become a 100x coder. And he's a very interesting starter question here where he will actually write all the code for you to create a link in bio tree of links website, just like the one that he created here. So he'll create the image, all the links, and so that's a very engaging, I think, starter question. That's useful to create a website in just one sentence like that. So what's the secret behind the high rankings here? Well, I've got a GPT called GPT Idea Evaluator. And what I just did is I pasted in the description of the GPT and we've got a full report kind of breaking down the key points of why this is so successful. I mean, it's got a very specific use case and audience for rapid website development with minimal input. Input Demand and repeated use is very high as well. I mean, coders be using this all the time. Difficulty of, of replication, quite hard to replicate, I think, because he has some unique knowledge and quite a strong brand as well. And also, this is probably a great uh, GPT to make because of the monetization potential here. With high usage, GPT store revenue is probably going to be good, but also affiliate links to web hosting or domain registration services. I think this, this could be a hugely valuable uh, GPT to this creator. I think that broad appeal and usefulness is part of its success, but I think the other big reason for success is the marketing that the creator Nick Dobos has been doing. 
And you can see that he's created a sort of character here. And I think he's just animating these with Runway ML. You can see that this got over 2.1 million um, views. But he's constantly giving updates on how his GPT is doing, how many users it's getting. And he's just creating like, making the whole thing interesting for even anybody to follow along with his journey. And he's sort of doing this build in public marketing strategy on Twitter, which seems to be extremely e effective. Even talking about things like how he's kicking Laundry Buddy's ass, which is one of the GPTs that was made by ChatGPT. So if you want to test out your own ideas, I'll put the link to this in the description below. And uh, now let's move on to number three. Now, number three on our list is Research GPT, which has seemingly come out of nowhere. But this is actually a GPT from an established company. And it's really a search engine that allows you to find uh, research papers. So if we open this up, we can see that there are over 200 million academic papers to search from. And they have a great starter question here. Does creatine improve cognition? So if you type that in or click on that, you'll see a res result like this, which uh, really shows you the links to all the scientific papers uh, saying if that is true or not. So why is this so popular? Well, I popped it into my GPT idea evaluator once again. And here we come out that it's got, again, a very distinct and specific use case with a very clear target audience like researchers, students, academics or professionals in various fields. And there's very strong demand and, and repeated use for this. Uh, for example, academia and uh, or academic research and content creation are really ongoing needs and quite difficult to replicate unless you have a vast database like consensus. So I think that's why Research GPT has really skyrocketed to the top of the list. Um, so it's not just a gold mine for research. It could also be used to train your own GPTs. You could find specific data in here. So if you want to do research or GPT development, Research GPT is really going to be the go-to place for you. Number four on our list is Designer GPT, which allows you to create and host beautiful websites. So I clicked in here to create a tech startup homepage. And within just a couple of seconds, I had the live web page up at this link here. So I think this looks impressive and the speed at which it created it was pretty impressive. But I'd say this is a pretty basic website and I couldn't figure out how to actually edit this. So maybe this um, one is just more for demonstration purposes. Now, I was wondering why is this so popular? Well, I think it might have to do with that the creator of this um, has a quite a lot big following on Twitter. And also this video got a huge amount of views demonstrating it. I think that what is probably most impressive is that the website is hosted with a uh, Replit. So there's an integration there that maybe not everybody can put together so easily. But putting it into our idea evaluator once again, I think that there is a very strong use case for designing and hosting websites. I've seen other AI tools do this, but I think this is probably one of the first times that it's been possible inside of ChatGPT. So if you want to see what the future of web design could look like, go ahead and give Designer GPT a try. Number five on our list is AI PDF. And I'm actually quite surprised to see this here because as you can see now in ChatGPT, you can upload files, including PDFs to ChatGPT and chat with them. It's a native feature now built into ChatGPT. And when this came out, everybody said this was a killer for all the AI PDF plugins and tools out there. And yet we see AI PDF right at the top of our custom GPT list. So how is this possible? Well, I clicked on this button here that says, how is it different from the file upload option in ChatGPT? And it came back with some very interesting points here. First one is that there's unlimited document uploads. So you can upload an unlimited number of documents through their myaidrive.com. So that's their website. I think there's a free uh, amount of PDFs you can upload and then there's a paid plan as well. But that's more convenient than really uploading the files to ChatGPT, which limits it to 10 files at a time. 
Now also number two, permanent storage. So you can upload your documents one time to this uh, My AI Drive and they'll be stored there all the time. Whereas with ChatGPT's file upload, you need to re-upload for each new chat session, which can be a bit inconvenient. Also, they have more efficient document management and ease of referencing and sharing. And for example, you can easily share links to specific documents or pages within a document, which could be very useful for collaborative work or when seeking assistance. So I think this is a very interesting example of how they've built more user features on top of an existing feature in ChatGPT and still remaining relevant. So I popped it into our G my GPT ID evaluator once again. And I think the reason for this popularity is that there's just a huge demand for summarizing and managing large PDFs. That's professional students, researchers, etc., And very high demand for this because people struggle with this and there needs to be tools to manage all of this. Quite hard to replicate this as well because you need a specific integration with a platform to really manage all these files. And so I think obviously got good monetization potential because of that free and basic plan there as well. So if you want to deal with multiple PDFs and collaborate with them, then give AI PDF a go. And number six on our list is Mr. Ranadir. And this is a bit of a head scratcher, to be honest. Uh, it says it's an AI tutor, but when I clicked on language Chinese, it just wrote back to me in Chinese, which is not very helpful at all. I don't understand Chinese, so how am I supposed to learn it? Well, things started to change when I explored and clicked on this option here to I want to learn special relativity. And I'm starting to see the appeal of this despite the seriously random name for this as well. Well, what it does now is I said I wanted to learn special relativity and it listed out a kind of course of prerequisites that I would need to go through and the main curriculum. So this is almost like a curriculum that you get in a university. And if you want to start the lesson plan, you click start. So there's an interactive element here. And then we get into the main lesson to really kick things off. So I think that's quite interesting. It's not something I've seen before. It kind of hooked me in there quite a lot when it laid out the full curriculum and then it was going to guide me through it uh, lesson by lesson. Now, right now, ChatGPT cannot remember your conversations, but that memory feature is coming soon. So I think an AI tutor like this could become extremely valuable and perhaps even replace universities because you can pick up your conversation right where you left off. So I think that's probably the appeal of this and why it's becoming so popular. I did look up the creator, which uh, links is linked um, from the GPT, but he's got a pretty small following and there's no big video that really uh, got a ton of views promoting this. Now I popped it into the GPT ID evaluator once again, and I guess it does have a great specific use case. Personalized tutoring is across various subjects is really the promise or what it could become. And uh, yeah, education is that perennial need. There's always demand for it. And there's going to be a lot of repeated users as people go through in different subjects. So if you want to see what the future of education and tutoring can look like, then check out Mr. Ranadir. Number seven on our list is AI GPT. And the popularity of this is probably no shock considering the lucrative and trending nature of these skills. So this is essentially like an AI tutor. And I just clicked on what's the difference between AI and machine learning. And we get an explanation here. Now, the creator of this is quite active on Twitter. And I saw that he attended the OpenAI Dev Day. So that uh, personal brand may have helped get it to the top of the list. But if we look at our idea evaluator once again, it's just that it's quite specific. And also there's high demand and growing interest in the development of these skills. So if you're keen on learning more about AI and machine learning, then give this GPT a try. Now, number eight on our list is Nomad GPT. And this allows you to become a digital nomad and find the best places in the world to live and work remotely. So I've just asked it, I've got $1,000, where can I live as a nomad? And it has listed out here 
10 cities, the cost, internet score, and safety score. Now I know that the creator of this already has a site and a community called Nomad List. So in a way, this is a way to promote this and also use the data that's probably already in there. The creator of this also has quite a large following on Twitter. So I'm sure that helped it get to the top of the list. But if we pop it into our idea evaluator once again, I just think that it has that specific use case and there's a big an increasing trend towards remote work and digital lifestyles. And this GPT really helps people with that. So if you're thinking about packing up your bags and moving abroad, definitely go give Nomad List a look. Now, number nine on our list, we're getting towards the end here is Simpsonize Me. And this really turns your photos into Simpson style art. So I went ahead and did this, just popped in a profile picture of me. And out comes my image. I mean, it's not really perfect, but I think it is a fun demonstration of ChatGPT's DALI's capability and image generation. So I do know that the creator of this has a pretty big following on Twitter, which probably helped get it to the top of the list. But if we pop it into our idea evaluator once again, I think it's just got that very specific use case demonstrating the DALI 3 and it's tapping into pop culture to really demonstrate that. So I think that's a good idea to really popularize or demonstrate the technology and probably just build your personal brand up. So if you want to see what you'd look like as a Simpsons character, go ahead and check out Simpsonize Me. And finally, to wrap it up, we get to number 10, which is API Docs. And really this is like a guidebook to the OpenAI API and how to use it. So I just clicked in how to use the OpenAI API and it gives me a full description of how to do that. Probably no surprise, this is also very popular because there's huge demand now for people to build their own applications on top of OpenAI. So I popped it in once again to our idea evaluator and yeah, very specific use case, but also very high demand for this topic. Now the developer of this seems to be WebPilot AI. I couldn't find out a lot about them, but they do seem to have their own site where you can, for example, generate articles. So I asked how to use the OpenAI API for beginners, and it listed out a very detailed and good looking article here with links to the sources and also follow up questions here as well. So I might explore this one a little bit more. It looks useful, but if you want to learn specifically about the OpenAI API and how to use it, then check out the API docs GPT today. So what do we learn by looking at the top 10 GPTs? Well, I think we've found some pretty cool GPTs to play with, but also it seems like having an existing user base or a custom data set has been a key for many of these to get to the top of the list. However, marketing seems to be a pivotal element as well. And most of that seems to be happening on Twitter from what I have observed. Now, remember that this field is still in its infancy and I expect a lot of changes in these rankings. So make sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop. I'll probably do a video on this in a couple of weeks. Now, if you're interested in creating your own GPTs, then you can join our community. We're all building GPTs in here and sharing marketing tips so we can climb that list together. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And I'll also put the links to uh, my GPT Idea Evaluator and the community in the description so you can check those out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.